through parts of Newton County Tuesday afternoon. It pretty much tore up everything. Leaving some folks like Willie Evans' sister without a home. Half of it is over here, half of it is over there. It's pretty, basically, it's, it's destroyed. So far, emergency crews told us they've seen the most damage off of Highway 15, and that's exactly where Evan's sister lived with his dog, who got spooked by the storm. Her name is Katie. Was she okay? I hadn't found her yet. She took off. I'm still trying to find her now. It sounded like hell was hitting the top of the building. And uh, probably about 10, 15 minutes, it was over with. Marcus Eichem says he was taking shelter at work when the tornado hit, and he's just thankful his family is okay. What was going through your head, you know, when all of this was happening? My kids, worried about my kids. Highway 504, just off of Highway 15, is another spot where power lines snapped in half. And trees fell across the road. Crews worked for several hours trying to restore power and cleaning up 504 to reopen it. For Evans, he says his family is trying to move forward and not focus on all that was lost. This is going to be hard on your family. Pretty much. But basically, we can uh, try to make ends meet. Try to make the best of it. The good news.